Hey everyone, today I just wanted to do a very quick but informative video and basically what this video is all going to be about is just makeup tips and tricks and advice for beginners if you're just starting to wear makeup and you don't know where to start, you don't know what to get or anything like that, I'm going to help you guys out today because basically when I started wearing makeup, I had no idea what I was doing. I just went wild and plastered everything on my face and I looked like a complete clown, seriously. I had serious raccoon eyes, I had overplucked eyebrows, and everything was just shiny on my face, like glittery, shiny, it was just crazy. So I'm going to bear you the pain, trust me, this is going to help you a lot, so stay tuned. When starting to wear makeup, you're going to need some basic items in your makeup bag, so I have a little cute baggie here and I'm going to show you guys ooh, something sticking out I'm going to show you guys what you're going to need okay so what you're going to need is a really good powder powder helps to give you nice coverage on your face and it is definitely lighter than foundation and I think it's an amazing thing to have and just to basically get the idea of your color you're not going to want to try it on your hand because generally your hand is going to be lighter than your face so you want to try it on your face. So if you go to like a Shoppers Drug Mart or if you go to a Walmart and they have a, a makeup counter or anything like that, make sure you try it on, on your face and make sure it's the right shade. But either way, even if it's a little bit lighter than you, not significantly, just if it's a little bit lighter than you, it will oxidize in your skin throughout the day. So it's okay if it's a little bit lighter, but make sure you match it to your face because you don't want to have two-toned skin going around. So a powder is a great thing to have. The next thing I'm going to show you guys is eyeliner. Eyeliner, um, you can get that obviously in an array of colors, but if you're just starting out, it's good to get some nice neutral colors. If you have black eyelashes, you're probably going to want to get a black eyeliner. And if you have blonde hair and if you have like maybe a darker brown um, eyelashes, you're probably going to need like a very, very dark brown eyeliner. Don't start off with black. It might look too um, drastic, and you just don't want to make it too much and too noticeable on your eyes. You want your makeup to look as minimal as possible. So you're going to need a color that is a few shades darker than your eyelashes. So, um, yeah, just pretty much anything that's darker than your eyelashes but not too dark. And, yeah, it's good to get a nice eyeliner. The next thing is eyeshadow make sure when you're getting eyeshadow that you get neutral tones because i know for myself i got a whole bunch of purples and pinks and sparkly colors and honestly i did not wear them as much as i thought i would have at the time so i'm going to save you a lot of money and just stick with some nice neutral colors like this is a trio from annabelle i'll show you this and it's just like nice neutral tones and i'll show you another thing that i absolutely adore which is the elf beauty book which i've talked about many many times and see those tones just nice neutral tones and you can wear them every day to school or wherever just nice neutral tones even if you don't have elf um where you live or anything like that um just go to any walmart any regular drugstore i know covergirl has lots of like trios or um they have sometimes they have quads and um is this a duo trio? I don't know. Is that a duo? I don't even know what it's called. Whatever. With two colors in it. Um, I know lots of brands have that, but just get any neutral tones and you will be good for sure. The next thing is lip gloss. I know these are both MAC, but pretty much you can get lip gloss anywhere for really good prices, so you don't even have to worry about that. But um, anything that's like nice pinkish colors, nice light shimmery colors and anything that's more on the nude side I would stick with nothing too bright nothing too crazy and definitely do not get lip stick because I used to have friends that when they started off they wore lipstick and lip line and all that and that's just too mature so honestly if you stick with the gloss you're good um another thing inside my makeup bag is a mascara it's good to have a mascara you might not wear it every day but you might wear it on special occasions or anything like that but a really good one that i like is black is black great lash mascara by maybelline and this is sold everywhere so you're gonna be able to get this for sure this one is around maybe 3.99 to 5.99 i would say and this mascara is amazing it is amazing you can get it in black well black is black black you can get it in dark brown you can get it in any shade really so it's good to get a mascara you don't have to wear it every day for school but 
if you want to. If you're going to be wearing it just to enhance your eyelashes, you don't need to wear a lot. Just like one coat and you're good. You're good to go. When starting off with makeup, lots of people like to stick to using what comes with their powder, like a sponge like that. I don't even know if I want to call that a sponge, but that that kind of applicator or a sponge applicator or these um, small eye shadow applicators. And honestly, these are not the greatest things. I know they come with your makeup, but these do not last you a very long time, and they will for sure create a nice little breeding ground for bacteria and you do not want that because you can get pink eye or it'll help to create blemishes on your skin and that is not good. So I know sometimes this might be like a dollar whereas a brush might be five dollars but honestly it's in your best interest to invest in a brush rather than getting those because you're not going to have that for that long and at least a brush you'll have it for as long as you're going to take care of it and as long as it holds up. So it's better to spend that extra buck and get brushes because it's way better than those applicators and all you really need when you're starting off is a nice powder brush like that and eyeshadow brushes that look like that just some basic brushes to start off and you'll be good don't go too crazy with makeup i did it and i looked crazy and honestly less is more just use a little bit of this a little bit of that when you're wearing um your lip gloss you don't need to put on so much where your lips are like reflecting the light from the sun no you just need a little bit when you're putting on your um, mascara you don't need a three or four coats you just need one coat you just need a little bit you just want to make yourself look enhanced you want to make yourself look different so less is more the less you have the more beautiful you'll look you don't need a lot of makeup So going on with what I actually just mentioned before, when you're wearing makeup, you want to enhance your looks. You don't want to change it to look like you just had plastic surgery or anything like that. And if someone were to see a picture of you with makeup on and without makeup on, you're looking like two different people, you don't want to do that. You just basically want to enhance your beautiful looks and you don't want to change it and make you look like a complete different person. So less is more, so that kind of ties in. You don't want to change how you look. Another thing, which I was actually talking about before, was with my eyebrows. I overplucked and I went crazy. I did not know what I was doing, whereas now I actually know and I've learned the ways to groom your own eyebrows. So if you want, you can actually go and get them shaped. And if you don't want to do that, then if you're just starting off and you really don't need to, honestly, just pluck the middle hairs over here and any unruly hairs. And just as long as your eyebrows are groomed and they're not like a big bush, you should be fine. You don't have to go. If you want to, then you could. But if you don't want to, you could still pluck them at home and just keep them ruly and looking like they're in order. Okay, now to do the application, I'm going to use everything that I showed you guys. First, we're going to apply some eyeshadow. Eventually, you're going to need a primer because that will definitely help your eyeshadow to stay on longer. But for now, you don't really need one. I didn't use one when I first started off, and you'll be okay. And you're going to go to about right here. You want to leave the edge, the thirds, you want to leave that because you're going to be putting a darker color there. It's going to make a little V right here at the, at the edge of your crease right here. So you're going to make a V and then you're going to blend it all in. So back and forth, just blending. I'm going to bring it down a little bit and just blend wipe out wipe any fallout sorry if i say wipe out wipe any fallout that happens and just continue to blend it and just bring it down a little bit the only thing with this v 
the top of your V is going to go a little further and this is going to only go down here. So the V is going to actually go and extend over here and then the bottom of the V is only going to be in the corner of your crease right there. Now for eyeliner, using a color that is slightly darker than your eyelashes, not too dark since you're just starting off. You can do the bottom if you want, like if you want to do a little bit in here on your waterline, you can. Or what I like to do is actually put it at the top, at the edge of my eye. So I'll just hold my eye, drag it out a little bit, not too much. And then I'm just going to apply some of the eyeliner to the edge. You don't need a lot. Just a little bit to make your eyes look a little bit more open. You're going to put on some mascara. Only one coat should do. You should be fine with just one coat. So you're just going to take the mascara wand, put on your eyelashes, and kind of go back and forth in a sweeping motion. So do the same thing. Back and forth. Back and forth and up. Back and forth and up. Just saturate your brush. Get it all over your face. And that's it. And um, like I was saying with the um, eye pr eyeshadow primer, eventually you want to get a primer, just like eventually you want to get a brush wand, but for now you could use the end of a small comb with bristles like that. Just going to fill in any hairs that are missing, and you're just going to blend it out again with the same brush. So following those tips and taking my advice and getting the items that I mentioned in the video will definitely help you if you're just beginning and starting off to wear makeup and you don't know where to go. So um, yeah, just follow those and you guys should be fine. Honestly, doing makeup in the morning, whether it's for school or for work or anything like that, should not be a battle. So it should not be hard and following that will definitely be easy. But yeah, I just want to do a quick shout out to Livy and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Okay, say bye-bye.